It's 7.05. I think we're probably going to start. So uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Fran. I am um, here with Dr. Um We are welcoming everybody here to our uh, next installment of our webinar series for your health. Um, this one is a little different than what we've done before. This is actually uh, something called, my tooth is connected to what? We're going to be demystifying some tooth meridians because what happens is often people don't um, understand what meridians are. Um, excuse me, my screen sharing just failed. So I am just going to go right back to the screen. Here we are. So um, we're going to be going through a lot of questions and answers. And we're going to first talk about Dr. G. Dr. G has been a holistic dentist for over 20 years. He is not only a holistic dentist, he is a naturopathic doctor. Um, and because he has uh, both spectrums covered, he can help a patient in, in many ways that other dentists can't. Um, he is not only um, a great dentist and a naturopathic doctor, he's smart certified through the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology, which means that he follows very strict protocols um, and systems to keep patients safe during the dentistry that, they, uh, that he does. Um, he is also the owner and CEO of uh, this great establishment, Holistic Dental Center, where uh, we help uh, many patients um, every day. Um, and myself, I am Fran uh, Horning. I am a hygienist for 35 years. I started practicing holistic dentistry back uh, in 1984, uh, back when its first inception. And um, I was lucky enough to come back in uh, to my first love, holistic dentistry with Dr. G. Um, he empowers me to be a better version of myself every day. So <laughs> I want to thank him for that. Um, I have a lot of a background in biological dentistry, um, public relations, social media, marketing, and hygiene, of course. So um, I'm, uh, it's my pleasure and honor to be able to be with you guys tonight and be able to help answer some questions about um, tooth meridians and how that uh, can help a lot of people. So, uh, Dr. G, what yes. exactly is, we're gonna talk about a lot of things, and like I mentioned earlier, um, we, I'm just gonna, pardon me folks, I'm just going to, to share my screen for a moment. I just need to get my screens corrected here. We're just gonna go through these, so we talked about Dr. G and myself, and Dr. G, what is Chi? Mm. In traditional Chinese medicine philosophy, qi is a vital force that flows through the body and supposedly regulated by acupuncture. It's very important concept in the traditional Chinese medicine. I see. Um, so basically, it is, uh, excuse me again, it is a life force, so it's an energy? Yes, it's an it's a energy. Okay. And it's really just flowing uh, through the body. You know, this is how the Chinese believe in this. And this is flow through the body, it just uh, communicated with the outside world, and it's really regulate the whole body function. It's amazing, um, because a lot of times people hear Qi, they hear Tai Chi, and you know, energy, and you know, and all that stuff. So you're basically, you're, you're pulling it all, all together and make, make it more sense. So um, now we're talking about um, energy, but what about, you know, like, what are meridians? Meridians, this is a basically channel where the energy flow. This is like you flow the energy in specific channels and just regulate everything in the body. And this is a 12 basic meridians that the Chinese developed over 5,000 years ago. I see. And um, this is wonderful technology. All right. So what happens is, um, again, I'm having problems with my share screening folks, and I really appreciate your patience with this. So uh, we're going to get there real quick. So, okay, where's the energy flow? All right, so now you were saying about, go ahead, doctor. Energy flow through the body, and this is how the, the meridians helping the body to communicate with each other. This is a beliefs, you know, that Chinese developed very, very long time ago, as I mentioned, more than 5,000 years. Americans really know about uh, acupuncture and uh, uh, this technology basically from 1971. Then uh, during the Nixon administration, you know, the Kissinger went to, to China 
and one of the uh, you know that the uh, uh, you know that the, uh, New York Times uh, uh, person just get the surgery done, and uh -huh. in the morning you know after the surgery he start seeing pain, and the uh, acupuncturist from China use it, and he brought here information and write down the big article in New York Times magazine, 1971. Hmm. Before it was just a little bit known on the West Coast because of the Chinese immigrants, but after 1971, it just become known in the United States. You know, it's just very widespread. Right, and there's even um, solid research showing that acupuncture works. So acupuncture is working on the meridians. So that, you know, there's a lot of questions of whether you know, any of this stuff really works, but there's actually research that shows that it is. But there's other things that are attached to the meridians too. Um, that would be truth meridians, and that's what we're here to talk about. You know, that it's not a surprise because the truth part of the body, you know, that right. <laughs> we have teeth. Believe it or not. It's yeah. not something that uh, stay on the table, you know, that uh, or you put, may put on the shelf. This artificial teeth is called dangerous. Yeah. Otherwise, the teeth attached to the body, and this is just functioning constantly, you know, then you're talking, when we're just eating, when we're drinking water, we swallow saliva. It's just part of the body. That's why just right. every tooth connected one or two or few meridians sometimes. Right, and every tooth, there's, there's charts that show certain teeth are attached to certain organs. Or, you know, potentially you can have a problem um, with a tooth that can affect an organ through these energy pathways that you were talking about before. Um, sure. Am I correct? And vice versa. If it's something going on with the organ, it might something going on with the tooth. Oh. Because this is whole, this communication system. Okay. And uh, this is a great idea which is developed, as I mentioned many years ago, and uh, I still impressed how the body works. It's an amazing thing, and I think mm -hmm. um, they even say that we only use a small fraction of our brain. You know, we have so much knowledge and we have so much ability to create and learn new things and new technology, but we're only using a small fraction of our brain. So some things that we don't understand doesn't necessarily mean that it's not real it's just that because we just haven't had the capability of really fully understanding like how do we fully understand how the universe works too right i mean we can get really in, in depth on this yeah so so going talking about that you know how do we know that meridians are are real you know that the meridians are real because it works you know, this is a major hospitals now have acupunctures and stuff. You know, this is acupuncture offices all over and people go in there because it really works for them. And now scientists are getting more and more proof that acupuncture meridians exist. They started the research in the 1960s. And you know that then more and more the recent research show that this is really, this is, uh, physiological structure exists to show that uh, meridians are uh, working. You know, that uh, they're discovering different anatomical physiological evidence. And this is very important because nobody anymore cannot say it doesn't exist. They do exist. They still did not uh, prove existence of chi, but you know that who knows, maybe in the near future, they're gonna prove it a uh, life force existence. Well, you know, well, actually, from what I understand, um, you know, uh, Star Wars movies, well, they, they, the force <laughs> be with you, it, that's based on chi. They actually based, uh, Steven Spielberg and George Lucas, they, they based that on chi, the energy of the life force. So that's a fact. You can check that out. That's how they, <laughs> they made the movie. So they thought it was real. They made this whole series of movies about it. Um, but, you know just people who are having any kind of energy work, whether it be Reiki or acupressure, acupuncture, tapping, any of these things, um, really just shows us that it, there's gotta be something to it. There's gotta be, definitely gotta be something to it. So, yeah, but you know, that as, you, as uh, we all know that uh, science fiction very soon become reality. Without a doubt, that's it, without <laughs> a doubt. There's no question. We can, that's another conversation for another day. So uh, there's a several books uh, even that were science fiction and we can see now is becoming real. So, um, so great. So earlier we were talking about, for some of those of you that were not here earlier when we first started out, we were talking about why 
we decided to have this webinar. We decided to do it because um, there was a Facebook post that um, our marketer put it on. Just, just you know, it's a thing we talked about because we do it here in the office. We're just going to put a Meridian post in, and it was like back in November. The thing exploded. People just went and lost their minds. People were praising and, you know, this and that and sharing. I think it was had over 150 shares, um, so many comments. I mean, the thing was just going on and on and on. So we're just going to go through some of these um, these comments that were on this Facebook post that really drove us to say, look, we're not saving this for a rainy day. We're going to do it now because more people are, want to know more about it. And for those who think it's like a bunch of hooey, well, you know what? This is a time to like just hear a little bit more. And if they still don't, don't think it's for them, hey, that's okay. We're not here to um, make anybody change their mind. We're just trying to give information to them. So we're just going to go over this with some of these really great comments that people made. Um, some of these responses were, were spot on. And Dr. G, I'm going to ask you to, to um, embellish on, the, on that a little bit. Sure. We had one. Um, this is amazing. These are actual quotes. This is amazing. I clicked on the top back, which has been bothering me. Kidneys came up right on the nail. So with this person, he they went to the um, interactive um, meridian chart that uh, we had posted, and they found that it was just right on the money. I mean, I, I know I see it in the practice. I mean, I'm sure you see it certainly more than I do. Uh, you know, that's a, a big surprise. It just uh, an hour ago, I have a phone call from the patient. Uh. Who are we talking about just removing infected tooth for three or four years? And he called me back and told me, Dr. G, I want to come tomorrow and remove this tooth because I had a problem with my kidney. And I thought, wow. And uh, I opened the Meridian chart again and make sure this is the same tooth. And it's really connected to the kidney. I told you, sure, you're coming tomorrow. We're going to see if we're going to remove the tooth. Wow, how's that? This took him three years. And the tooth, anyway, lost. I don't understand why person keeping the infection in his mouth. But, you know, everybody different. Well, then again, yeah, I can understand because it's, again, having the tooth extracted, whether you're fearful of the extraction or somebody not wanting to get rid of a body part. Or sometimes the only alternative is maybe to have an implant. And some people don't want implants for different reasons. Um, like I know there's one school of thought um, you know, uh, in holistic dentistry that no, there is no implant that is good. There is, you know, you just extract the tooth and put a denture in because you don't want to block any of the meridians. But from my understanding, I mean, I know you're going to Switzerland in, in a few weeks um, because you've been invited uh, to learn more about the uh, zirconia um, implants and how uh, it's the, uh, uh, this, the parasol, not parasol, excuse me, the Swiss Biohealth, where they're going to have the medical and dental uh, mixed together, how it's okay now to have certain implants. It's not it's only good. okay, it's also very beneficial. Oh, okay. Because they do believe that, you know, that if, if the implant is neutral, like a ceramic implant, because he has no electrical conductivity, you know, thermal conductivity, it's just really improving the function of the body. And I yeah. really, really just want to just go and find out how much they learn and uh, how much we can bring it here to help our patients. Absolutely, because uh, their standard of care for years was just using metal implants, and the metal implants are going to block the chi, and we, which we actually didn't talk about, blocking meridians. What happens when you block a meridian? You know, the, the, the blocking the meridians, the blocking communication. Just, uh, just imagine yourself, you have a water pipe, and just you just uh, tighten it up. And then you don't have enough water. Mm -hmm. You still have water, but it's not enough. You just uh, stand up on the pipe. And uh, how it's going to feel it? How much you're going to water your plants? Right. You know, that everything just uh, working together. You know, that uh, if it's energy flow, you just close the energy. Okay. And somehow it just affects you. Right. And that could be done with uh, whether it be metal or if there's an infection or... Or what are, you know, other ways you can block? Yes, yes. Everything that you block in, you block in. Okay. Okay. Very good. So let's have another one, another positive comment here. Oh, my God. My front teeth are bothering me. It was right on spot. This is scary. This is kind of like what you said um, the very first time you used it. I don't know if some of the listeners missed it. Uh, the first time that you um, 
we're able to use this technology and um, you were like, oh, wow. Like, if you do mind telling that story again, even if, if somebody heard it already, I'm sorry. I want to hear it again. You know that I got involved in holistic dentistry many years ago. Right. And I got uh, met with a wonderful holistic doctor and she gave me the book and I started reading about meridians and how it works. And the patient came in in my office and she filled up medical history and she put the uh, cancer. And I look at her x-rays and she asked the question, is it breast cancer? And she looked at me, get up from the chair and asked me, how did you read my medical history? And I back up and I said, no, I did not read your medical history. I just assume, just looking on your x-rays. Because almost every tooth that had infection, just blocking, you know, this is meridian that affects the breast. Amazing. And, you know, this is from this moment on, I get impressed, shocked, and I get impressed almost every day here. Yeah. No, because uh, I just uh, working on the people removing infection, uh, just making the mouth better. At the same time, they coming back and tell me how their body feeling better, different. Not everyone, unfortunately. Yeah. Because you know that uh, we can't control everything in the body because it's a multitude of the problems. And you know that, uh, and sometimes it's just miracles. Just pure miracles. It's amazing. Yeah. We have another comment. Actually, several people went very interesting. Like they, they didn't realize that there was a connection. And like you said earlier, the mouth is connected to the body. So we all know about the oral system, systemic link. Like it's like, really, who knew that my teeth were attached to my body? But there was that old mindset where there was a total disconnect. Like here's my mouth, here's my body, totally separate uh, entities. But, um, you know, for many reasons, we now know that it's true, whether it be through meridians or the oral systemic link, you know, as far as increasing risk of, um, you know, uh, heart attacks and strokes and all that. So there's a lot of links of the mouth and the body. And then we have another comment here. And interesting explains a lot. So a lot of times people are looking or searching for answers. They're looking for um, solutions. And everybody they go to, they just not getting that those answers so this is um, just an adjunct way of maybe putting some of the pieces of the puzzle together uh, I mean how do you feel about that uh, you know the, the most important thing is start listening to the patients mm -hmm. you really just have to find the time and explore what's going on and to try to find what can help to the person because, you know, if you don't put the time and if you don't put the energy to really help, you're never going to find out anything. And uh, this is no wrong doing, just not to try it. And, uh, you know, this is all the wrong doing, just, uh, you know, that's just uh, turn around and tell, you know, it's crazy. It's not, you know, that you have to just try to find out, explore, learn, and just, uh, just explain everything and give people an option. And exactly. Um, because I know you don't use this as a diagnostic tool. You use this in adjunct to your diagnosis. I mean, you use your x-rays, you use your CAT scans, your panorexes, you use your clinical exam and, and all that. And this is just an adjunct. So um, just want to make sure that everybody knows that this is not necessarily um, a specific diagnosis of, you know, a specific thing, but the correlation um, is there. It's very, it's very, very mind blowing. How interesting! Um, things that we don't understand. The reality is there. You know, that as a diagnostic tool, there's a, a few naturopathic physicians uh -huh. using it, and they're using it very extensively. I just uh, recently just get a patient that sent to me by a naturopathic doctor, you know, he's MD, and he sent me patient tell you know, that uh, please explore the tooth on the upper right side. I have uh, information that the tooth is not vital anymore. How do you like that? And you know that uh, I was really shocked. I heard this uh, doctor a few times on the seminars. It's just a short introduction. But you know that the, then he, the patient from his practice came in in my office, I ordered his book, and I start reading more and more and more. It was unbelievable, you know. And uh, this doctor using the, uh, you know, that assessment of uh, meridians, hmm. computerized assessment, and he really diagnosed the patient what's going on. Wow. 
Wow. I don't have this training. I don't have this ability. For me, it's just, you know, this is impressive how the body works. That is very true. It's a, like you said, it's a miracle. So not only did we have a lot of really positive uh, responses, people were like, I can't believe this. This is amazing. Um, we had some questions. People wanted to know more information. So I have a couple of questions that were on the Facebook post. So I'm going to ask you to address those. We have our first one. Okay, so what? It shows you what? What part of your body this tooth affects and? So basically, they're asking, okay, so you're showing me how this tooth is connected to this organ, but how can I use that information? Like how can a patient you know, use that information or, you know, or you using it or you're working with their doctor? How is that? What can they do with that information that they know that this tooth is affected to this organ? You know that uh, this is an unbelievable uh, connection between the tooth and the organs. And this case allowed me to refer patient to somebody else who is a naturopathic doctor, you know, full time, or, you know, that integrative uh, practitioner, and they figured out together how to work it out, how to make this organ work better, what supplementation okay. needed, what treatment needed, how to support system. Or, you know, that uh, sometimes the uh, doctors send the patient to me and tell me, the, uh, Dr. Agashinsky, please take care of this infection. Because they cannot do anything otherwise, because it's something is going on in the body. And sometimes we win, and sometimes we didn't get too much results. But anyway, we have to try. Without a doubt. Because if you don't look and you don't try, you're, you're not helping your patient. That's for sure. All right. We have more questions. Okay. Amalgams have been around for hundreds of years. I don't see any correlations to, of teeth to organs. Okay. Uh, on interactive chart of... Uh, you know that the uh, uh, four meridian tooth chart, this is one interesting tooth, tooth number 15. It's upper left. It's, you know, almost the last tooth next to the wisdom tooth. And this is written here, just caution of the large amalgam fillings. This is interesting information. I didn't develop this chart. I use it. I'm just a student here. I'm learning. But this is the interesting, interesting information. And it is information exists, and you know that was developed uh, very smart people, and uh, this is big reason behind it. It's amazing, yeah. So there, but there's other reasons uh, we talk about amalgam. You know, I did mention that you are smart certified because you are you, you follow very strict protocols in, in the amalgam removal. But that's a, a whole other topic um, for discussion another day. Uh, but uh, yeah, a lot of people are, are concerned about um, mercury exposure too. So, all right. So our next question, let me just get out of my little thingy here that I have. All right, so, all right, our next, oh my goodness, my thing is not working here. All right. What about people who wear dentures? People who don't have the teeth, do they still have meridian connections? They do, but you know that uh, there is no active point there. Uh, Let's, uh, just imagine yourself if somebody just lay down in bed after the accident or surgery for a few days, few weeks, few months. Is a really person can walk? Is it really patient can run? You know that is he working to full his ability because if something doesn't work, this is uh, the, the big problem and the theory exists that uh, you know that it's affect uh, energy flow. Mm. I don't know how much it's affect the energy flow, but I definitely know that if person has a periodontal disease and lost teeth more than 10, they just cutting their life short 10 years. And this is a statistic from the medical field. Mm -hmm. It's not from dentist. It's is a medical research show if you're losing more than seven teeth, you're just really cutting your life short for 10 years. That's terrible. That's amazing. How, uh, in addition, in addition yeah. you know that the best dentures giving you only 25% of a capacity to chew, but yeah. I, I, I not, I, not the best dentures, maybe five. Wow. 
that's that's amazing because I you know sometimes you um, unfortunately things have happened in the past whether it be an accident or infections or whatever and people wind up with a with a denture so um, you know I'm hoping I'm hoping there is solutions for them uh, to be able to to help them but but with, if they don't have the teeth but they're wearing dentures that shouldn't affect the if I'm understanding you right it's not going to affect the ingredients too much. It will affect the very It will, you know, okay. But okay. I don't know how much it's going to affect, but it definitely will. Because there is no, uh, this is no connection to the te teeth that don't exist to meridians. Okay. And you know, this is uh, nothing just uh, produce any movements. Gotcha. Okay. I just want to clarify that. So yeah. I want to make sure I understood that. I want to make sure they understand that too. Okay. So, and next. What if you don't have the tooth that affects certain areas? You know, like what if a tooth was extracted? Or in this case, we had somebody mention that um, they had a tooth that just never came in, that never um, developed and, and came into their mouth. Um, there's still no connection? The, I believe uh, that uh, there is some connection because this is a uh, new research going on in Europe. And they, they truly believe if its tooth doesn't develop, this is a big question happens. What happened to the tooth bud? Why right. tooth bud didn't grow? What happened to this? You know, that, uh, why this uh, didn't develop? What happened to the dead parts of this one? Hmm. It's very interesting. I would like to know more research about it. And I really want to learn more. Hmm. Interesting. So there, that's an open question. Um, and hopefully one day we'll be able to come back and give you a specific answer on that. But yeah, that is interesting. But if somebody has a tooth extracted, um, from what I understand, please correct me if I'm wrong. You're the expert on this. Like if somebody has a tooth extracted and so they're missing that tooth, um, could they still have any issues with the meridian to that area? As I mentioned to you, there is a theory in Europe that uh, it's right. better to have a ceramic implant placed okay. and it's going to be work better than nothing. Okay. Uh, you know, that idea to have your own healthy teeth. Of course, of course. Um, and then I heard something about like if somebody has phantom pain, um, like if they have the tooth out and then later on they still have like, feels like they have a toothache in that spot when they don't have a tooth, that it's actually the organ uh, Am I mistaken? Uh, you know, I can't tell about the organ, but I would start looking for infection in this area. Okay. I would start looking for infection and things, uh, you know, the technology, we can look at this more precisely because we have 3D mm -hmm. and we can do this really just look at this if it's any infection this there. Very reasonable. I like that. All right. So we've answered some questions and now we have People who are like, hmm, yeah, okay. I don't really think that stuff is real. We have some skeptics, and that's okay, because you know what? Um, people were skeptical that we couldn't land on the moon, but we did. <laughs> and they're <laughs> skeptical about a lot of things that, yeah, that's not going to happen. But it did. Um, there is a reality. So, you know, what our reality is and what somebody else's reality is can be totally different, and that's cool, you know, right? We can all live and cohabit in a happy place, right? So, but we're just going to address a few of the, uh, so a few of these things. So, um, if anybody who has any questions, we want to cover all the bases. So, first one we have is um, we have here pseudoscience: anything to make a buck and bring in patients. Okay. So, uh, it's interesting about the pseudoscience. You know that uh, 50, 50 years ago you may say it's pseudoscience, but you know that from the as I mentioned, nineteen sixty, it start proving more and more and more. And the recent research is uh, 2013, just giving us more proof that we can just prove the medical community that exists channel to flow energy. And uh, this is, you know, that bringing in patient, we, we just want to bring the patient who believe this and who need the help with this. And uh, this is a patient that we really want to see and help them in. You know, the, nobody just going to bring somebody else and just trying to just force them to do something that they don't believe and don't right. really want it to do it. Exactly. Um, just like, we, you know, somebody who doesn't believe in acupuncture, you know, if they don't believe in acupuncture and then there's no point in going to, uh, to an acupuncturist, right? Yeah. But we know that it works. We have proof that it works. 
But if you don't believe in it, then you know, that's it. So, all right, next one. Okay, this is junk science, and you should stop promoting it as valid. <laughs> Friend, you know, this is basically the same question. Yeah. You know, if I'm going to just say it again, this is uh, uh, become science. But I want to just look in a different point of view. This is really works. You know, this is works not from the point of the dentist. It works in the medical field. And you know that it works for many, many years. I'm not going about 50 years, 100 years, 1,000 years. I'm talking about 5,000 years. And we cannot ignore this experience of the humanity. That is very true. Um, so uh, the fact that if I don't believe in something doesn't mean that it's not real. Like if I have my, high, my mind is set on, okay, nothing is better than vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream is the best thing in the world. There's no way that you're going to explain to me that chocolate is far superior and that it's, you know, that's a real thing. All right. Because my mind is set on that thing. And you know what? And then we just have to accept that, you know, some, some beliefs are just in our, in our core and that's just, you know, and that's okay. We all, we all have, um, we have a right to feel that way. So this is the first disagreement you have with me because I like pistachio. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, Dr. G, this is, you make me laugh every day, every day. Okay. And then with our last one we have here, boy, I had four wisdom teeth pulled and four teeth pulled for braces. I shouldn't be alive. Laugh out loud. So, yeah. You know. <laughs> it's okay because you know that no dentist want to be a killer, normal dentist. Yeah. <laughs> Teeth need to be removed for whatever reasons. Yeah. You know they need to be removed. Personally, I don't like to remove teeth for any reason. I don't like to remove the wisdom teeth if they don't need to be removed, and I definitely don't don't like to remove the teeth for the braces because it's just against me. You know that a healthy tooth, it's very very important. And technology in the uh, orthodontia braces exist. It just take a little bit longer time. Right. And you know that it needs to be done. Uh, I believe that uh, in this particular case, probably intervention need to be started much earlier in the uh, kid life in order to just develop the job properly. Well, that's this is a different topic. This is a different discussion. Exactly. In reality, for me, it's uh, it's just heartbreaking to remove the health issue. Exactly, and I have to agree with you on that. Um, maybe that's a topic that we should talk about in the future about how you know all of us have had braces and everything is like myself included where everything's been kind of constricted so now later in life I have snoring issues and all that you know there's airway issues right so a lot of people have sleep apnea and, and all these problems so now we're we're removing healthy teeth and healthy tissues and now we're constricting the mouth constricting the airway and now later on in life, we have to start expanding things. So I agree with you um, as far as maybe when we're younger, we should, should look at these things. But yeah. I digress. I digress. So we're going to move on from that. So um, so basically, what we had to talk about is pretty much over with that part. Now we're going to talk about um, questions. And we have quite a few questions here, doctor. Do you mind if I take a few minutes of your time so we get these sure. answers? Absolutely. Okay. We have here from Rena. What is the energetic impact of pulling a tooth? When do you need to pull a tooth? All right. Then you need to pull the tooth. This is a probably its necessity because you know that you have to evaluate the damage that the infected tooth causes into the body. Yes, there is a definite impact on the energetic and everything else. But you know that uh, what are we going to gain or we're going to lose? If the tooth is infected, we're definitely going to gain because we're removing infection. Right. We need to be properly removed, properly cleaned. And you know that uh, we're using a lot of interesting technology here. We're using uh, PRF. Basically, this is withdrawing the patient blood. We just spin in a special centrifuge and we're just putting back to promote growth of the bone and just prevent infection, 
prevent bleeding and uh, this is need to be done properly and uh, any procedure done it's definitely impact on the person emotionally physically energetically but we have to see how much we're gonna win from doing procedure right um, because if there is an infection that and that definitely will affect the energy of that this meridian. Is, this is no so, question. Yeah, so that that's how it's going to affect it by removing that. You're removing the block, and never mind removing that block energetically. You're removing an infection that can affect the rest of the body. So yeah. it really depends on the situation. Yeah, immune um, system, everything else. It's, uh, I, absolutely. So it's multi layers there, um, and also there's a, she's also asking why are you know some dentists kind of quick to uh, remove wisdom teeth. So I mean, again, it depends on how you practice. I think. You know that uh, for the past 20 years, uh, uh, if for example, after don't just finish uh, braces uh, for the patient, he usually write down the letter recently, this is a place of the wisdom teeth. You know, this is your decision as a general dentist to remove wisdom teeth or not. I prefer to keep all healthy teeth in the mouth. Exactly. This is my whole idea. If you have enough uh, space in the jaw and you know that the teeth doesn't have any decay, there is no reason to remove healthy teeth. If this is constriction, you know, if it's just impaction, if it's problem, it's a different story. But a healthy teeth, as I said before, uh, I don't feel comfortable to remove. Right. It's like me removing a healthy finger because <laughs> it's, been, <laughs> it's in my way. You know, no, it stays there, right? So if it's helping you and it's aiding you, it's going to stay. So great. Thank you, Rena, for all those questions. Now we have a few more. Um, all right, basically, okay. Okay, we have here, argument from antiquity is a logical fallacy. And just because you believe this doesn't mean it's real. Well, that goes, that's basically what we were saying. Just because we believe it doesn't mean it's real that goes on both sides just because we believe it's not real doesn't mean that it's not real um we have there's research behind it that shows that it is real um basically we have here okay we have this there's another statement here i'm trying to read it we are energetic beings based on spark that resides in the heart we get jump started when the heart stops yeah so we're it's, wait there's an electrical current in the heart is basically what she's saying. So there is electricity or, or some kind of energy running through the through the body. So that's for sure. Let me see you, here. You know that uh, what we're talking about the medicine today. You know that the advanced medical doctors talking about the quantum medicine. Mm. You know, this is energy medicine. You know quantum medicine. This is how the body communicate. It's uh, so difficult to understand and so amazing to read about it. I just so fascinated about this topic. It's unbelievable. And with the uh, top notch integrative doctors talking about the quantum medicine, it's unbelievable. Yeah, there's a lot, like I said in the very beginning, there's so many things we don't understand yet um, because we're only using a small fraction of our brain. Um, so there's so many things that. Um, that are actually we can't even fathom because our brains are not wired to think that that far. Hopefully, as as each generation gets, goes on, we'll be able to 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 get there. But yeah, it's it's amazing stuff. We do have another um, question here from anonymous uh, attendee. Does the problem with the meridian arise because of a problem with the tooth, or is the meridian affecting the tooth? Uh, in reality, this is, uh, you know, that energy flowing through the meridian might affect the tooth. Because, you know, that uh, sometimes it's one specific tooth just die for no reason, for no apparent reason. But in reality, something's going in the body, just uh, create uh, the conditions of, uh, for the tooth to die. And in reality, uh, we just have to explore what's going on. Mm -hmm. And if something happened to the tooth, everything is healthy, and one tooth just you have a problem, you know, you have to find out what's going on. And that's why, you know, that integrative medical practitioners come to help, because I cannot give the answer to the patient. And I need to send to somebody else who can really help them, but you have to give them an idea that they go and find out, you know, is there anything going on with your body? Is there anything else working against those your organs? Right. And that's, well, 
that's what I wanted to say, and I've, I've said before in other webinars, is that why we like to work with other practitioners. We don't, we're not a drill, fill, and bill. We don't just treat your teeth. We treat you as a, a whole person. And that's why we have, like when people, some of our patients that come here, they see the wall with all the cards of our practitioners because we uh, work with other practitioners because we're just a piece of the puzzle. You know, we, we deal with the oral cavity and then you have your functional medicine or your integrative doctor, your acupuncturist, your naturopath, your energy worker. I mean, there's so many people involved in being able to get um, one human healthy. And that's what it's, you need to work together. We tend to forget that, like you said earlier, the mouth is part of the, the body. We tend to treat it as a separate entity. And that's what's so great about my I love holistic dentistry so much is that we now treat it, everything as a whole as one so that was my i'm sorry my, don't be sorry you know this is your passion that's i believe very strongly in it yeah so we actually have another question here and it's probably gonna be our last question we're gonna start wrapping it up um we have a question here from rena can acupuncture facilitate energy flow into the meridian after a tooth is pulled sure you know that because acupuncture design to regulate the energy flow because you know as i said before you know that life force which is chi flow through the body and supposedly regulated by acupuncture this is what good acupunctures try to improve they're trying to improve the flow and everything that the flow improving just giving you more chance to clean everything else mm -hmm. because then everything is moving up everything just cleans up faster and just regenerate faster and it works better you know, this is, that's why the acupuncturists exist. They not exist only just to stop pain. They just also just exist to, to heal the body. Mm -hmm. And this is unbelievable modality. I've been in the acupuncturist's office quite a few times. And I re really, really love results. Right, exactly. Um, knowing you for as long as I have, you're not, you're not one for anecdotal evidence. You want proof i show me the science i know that about you i don't uh i don't see you want to just take uh you know anecdotal evidence is real so we have one more question um and this is gonna be the last because we're gonna wrap it up um what is the best way to treat a tooth that breaks all, breaks in half is it a cap can it be left alone to heal you know, it depends what this means is here, <laughs> breaking half. <laughs> if it's uh, yeah. only top half on, you know, that it just uh, uncolated fracture or whatever it is. If I can save the healthy tooth, it doesn't matter what means need to be done, you know, that to protect it, to keep it in your mouth. This is an ideal situation. Mm -hmm. If it's just breaking half and we can do the piece of porcelain on the top, it is great. If it break in half and you know that, uh, and you need a cap or crown, whatever you're saying, you know that I uh, need to put the crown in to save tooth for you. And if it's cracking half in the middle, nobody in the world yet cannot save this tooth. It needs to be removed. Then something is cracked in the middle, you know, split in half, it's, it's just inevitable to remove the tooth. Okay, great. Thank you, doctor. Um, so everybody, we're going to wrap it up. And I want to thank everybody for attending, whether you believe in what we're talking about or whether you don't, because we're just here to give information. We're not here to try to talk into anybody into believing what we're, we're giving information about. This is all about just people really wanted more information. Um, that Facebook post just exploded. So we're just answering the call. Um, we're not here to make anybody uh, believe uh, what we believe. You can go to uh, the science behind it. Um, and again, if you don't believe, that is so, that's fantastic. Um, you can, everybody can live their life as they do. And for those who do believe, there are options available to them. So there's a, um, a, a great ending there. We can agree to disagree for those who don't believe, and for those who do, um, there's always options for you. So I want to just let everybody know that um, if they are interested in um, seeing Dr. G, we do have a webinar special uh, for a $99 new patient, a uh, full exam and x-rays and a holistic cleaning. Um, you get a, a full set of low dose uh, radiation x-rays, um, a full comprehensive exam with the doctor, 
um, and a holistic cleaning, which uses ozone and herbal solutions for 44, it's normally $445. So you can get it for $99. So if you want, you can reach us at 973-379-9080 and uh, you will be more than happy to help you. Um, and if you have any questions, you can just give us a call and ask us questions too. So we'll be happy to help you in any way. Um, but another thing that I do want to, uh, to tell everybody is that in May, on May 12th, uh, from five, 2 to 5, we are going to have a, a, a free event where we're going to have, we have them twice a year, we're having an allergist come and we're going to talk about how you can avoid or um, uh, prevent aller, you know, allergy issues um, and holistic, uh, holistically. So Dr. G and Dr. Excuse me, Deborah uh, Nicolosi are going to be speaking about this on May 12th uh, from 2 to 5. For more information, you can go to our website, uh, holisticdentalcenternj.com, and you can go in the events section. It'll be right there. And also for our next webinar, which will be on May 17th, we are going to be talking about relieving dental anxiety naturally without using um, chemicals or prescriptions or anything like that. We can use more natural products, and that's going to be on Thursday, May 17th from 7 to 8 p.m. So I want to thank everybody for joining us, and I think this was uh, very helpful for those who were interested in learning more and for those who were, you know, not so, you know, on board with it. That's okay, too. We're here to help everybody, and if it's not something for you, that's fine. And if it's something, and if we were able to answer any of your questions or or give you a little more information that help you understand it more, that's what we're here for. Um, I want to appreciate all of you, and I want to thank you very much, and have a good night. Thank you, Fran. Thank you, Doctor.